So the other day while I was cleaning my shop, I stumbled across this old hand drill and while I was thinking about where to move it, I thought, you know, I got a few other hand drills. It might be kind of interesting to make a video and if I'm going to make a video, let's make a cordless drill shootout. So I got my cordless drills and I got my cordless drills, got a piece of wood and some drill bits and screws and I got a clipboard and that makes this professional. This is what's known as an egg beater drill. I picked it up at a flea market or a yard sale 15, 20 years ago for like 10 or $15. Some of them have like a hollow handle where you can pop it out and store some drill bits. This one doesn't. It's, uh, it's got two tooth gears here for engaging on the crank. It's nice and light, has a really small chuck so you can fit it into tight areas. This is a great drill to give to kids. You know, there's not much chance of them really hurting themselves. And even uh, as an adult, even as an adult, this is a good drill for if you want to do something really uh, slow and delicate. I never use it, it's always sitting in a drawer. But let's try it out. First up, compact 12 volt drill, 8th inch drill bit, piece of 4x4 softwood, and less than two seconds. Same type 1 8 inch drill bit in the egg beater and reset and let's go. Twenty three point three seconds. Whoops, there goes the handle. Less than two seconds, twenty three seconds. Much faster. However, this one is much lighter, costs a heck of a lot less, and it's safer for children, and it's really good for small and delicate operations. I never use it, it's always sitting in a drawer. Next up is the breast drill. It's named that way because it has this bar up top for you to lean on so you can push right into a wall if you're drilling into that or down onto a beam or something. For all of that it still has a fairly narrow chuck. About eight or ten months ago I did a video where I had to pull this out because I needed to get into a tight space. Interesting thing about this drill is that it is a two-speed just like your regular drills they're two speeds. It's got a little button here on the back and when you pop this button the crank comes right off and there are two sets of gears here that you can engage. You can pop this into a different hole and you've got the slow speed or you move it into the other hole which engages this different size gear and then we've got a high speed. So let's compare. So this is a bigger drill, so I thought I should use the bigger drill. Same 4x4 piece of softwood, and here we go. Yeah, two seconds. So, you know, I got a stool back here so I can get up and actually lean on it. So let's reset the timer. And go. Oops, and go. Six and a half seconds. Pretty cool. 20 volt brushless cordless. Costs a couple hundred bucks. Bought this again at a flea market about 15, 20 years ago for about 15. No batteries to wear out. No electricity. Two speed. Two speed. Safe for kids. Mm, maybe not. Six and a half seconds. Two seconds. I never use it. It's always sitting in a drawer. Okay. Brace and bit. I don't have any bits. Again, 20 some odd years ago at a garage sale, I picked this up for probably less than 10 bucks. I bought it as a novelty. 
What I used it for is driving screws. 20 years ago, I did not have a hammer drill. I did not have an impact driver. I just had a cheapo 12 volt cordless drill and that's what I used. And I was rebuilding a deck and my cordless drill did not have the guts to do it. This thing, I bought this little adapter at Lee Valley and you pop that in and in, the, in that you could just put regular hex shank bits. One of the neat things about some of the more modern versions of the brace and bit is that they actually have a ratcheting gear here so you can reverse direction and which is kind of nice because you can put this in a tight corner and you can sort of do quarter turns like that. This time I'm using my compact 12 volt driver. I thought I would try to use the weakest driver that I have. I have a two inch construction screw here. Same four by four and five seconds. Okay, so same type of two inch construction screw. I do not have a pre-drilled hole and we're not going to start lots of comments about pre-drilling versus drilling, right? It's going straight into a piece of softwood and go. So 20 years ago when I was using this to do my deck, I found this thing had an immense amount of torque. I actually twisted the head off a few screws and stop. 12 seconds. And so wrapping that up, we've got the 12 volt driver, which again is going to be $100 or more. You got this, which is going to be like 10 bucks at a yard sale. And it's got an immense amount of torque. It's lighter. It can get into tight areas. And who am I kidding? I never use it. And that's about it for this silly little video. I hope you had some fun. As always, I'd like to thank you for joining me down in my shop, and we'll see you next time.